Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers. Bushcat returns as Bushcat Aircraft Australia. Loda update takes effect December 2nd. Drone Racing League arrives in Miami. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sportplane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. Bushcat returns as Bushcat Aircraft Australia. The Bushcat was manufactured in South Africa by Skyreach beginning in 2014, selling its first unit to a customer at EAA Oshkosh. It sold nearly 200 kits until April 2024 when it suspended operations. However, Skyreach just announced that the LSA is coming back into production under new branding as Bushcat Aircraft Australia, with a new management team at the helm. The new team consists of Errol van Rensburg, who, with extensive experience in engineering, will remain the Australian distributor. Michael Fletcher, with over 30 years in metal manufacturing, will manage production in a modern high-tech facility. And Mariette van Rensburg has more than 40 years in marketing and sales and will lead all international sales, marketing, and distribution. It appears the new team has hit the ground running as they have already begun addressing all the logistical, legal, and legislative issues facing them and expect to have production underway again by late spring or early summer of 2025. Spare parts for owners worldwide will begin as soon as the team is able to get all the pieces into place. The Bushcat is the third and latest iteration of the Cheetah design by Rainbow Aircraft. After the break, Van celebrates 85 years by test flying new RV-15X. For over 30 years, the massive sport plane resource guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new digital sport plane resource guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Van celebrates 85 years by test flying new RV-15X. Richard, or Van, Van Grunsven, the founder of Van's Aircraft, recently celebrated his 85th birthday by test flying the new RV-15X prototype. The RV-15 is slated to reach the market in late 2025. Van established the company in 1970 and began selling kits three years later. Since then, Van's aircraft has produced one of the most popular lines of kit aircraft ever. Over 10,000 of its kits are flying worldwide. This prototype is Van's first high-wing design. Trio Pro Pilot Autopilot approved with Skyview HDX Dynan confirmed that the FAA has approved the Trio Pro Pilot Autopilot to pair with its Skyview HDX avionics system. This certification allows all type certified aircraft to use the HDX for autopilot navigation and even fly fully coupled instrument approaches. With integration, the Skyview HDX avionics system sends heading, barometric altitude, and altitude pre-selected data directly to the Trio Pro Pilot. Pilots can set these configurable parameters on Skyview HDX, which the autopilot follows to provide precise guidance. Joby Aircraft Flying in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 Joby Aviation's aircraft are now available for pilots worldwide to fly in the 2024 release of Microsoft's iconic Flight Simulator franchise. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 has the Joby aircraft for all aviation enthusiasts to experience the future of urban flying from the pilot seat. The aircraft has an innovative approach it calls unified flight controls that enables pilots to intuitively transition from vertical takeoff to horizontal flight. It's flown similarly to vertical lift military aircraft like the F-35B Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter. 
Sonic's training transition with Fly Eagle Sport and AccraSure Insurance Program. Sonic's aircraft is offering a new factory-approved transition training program conducted by Fly Eagle Sport in Glendale, Arizona. This course can also be used as Sonic's familiarization training to help prepare prospective Subsonics pilots for LOA training with Desert Aerospace. This course collaborates with Sonic's LLC, insurance companies, and Fly Eagle Sport to provide Sonic's owners and pilots an aircraft-specific safety course and an avenue for aircraft insurance via AccraSure Aerospace with Sonic's insurance specialist, Victoria Newville. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. LOTA update takes effect December 2nd. The FAA has published its final rule on a number of regulations covering a smorgasbord of topics in general aviation that Congress mandated in its FAA Reauthorization Acts of 2018 and 2024, as well as the James M. Imhoff National Defense Authorization Act of fiscal year 2023. The rules in this published release go into effect on December 2, 2024. The rule, in part, amends operating rules for experimental aircraft to permit certain flight training, testing, and checking in those aircraft without a letter of deviation authority. That same non-requirement of a LOTA is extended to certain flight training, testing, and checking in limited category, primary category, and experimental light sport aircraft. Miscellaneous amendments related to recent flight experience, flight instructor privileges, flight training in certain aircraft holding special airworthiness certificates, and the related prohibitions on conducting these activities for compensation or higher have been amended in this rule. The FAA says the changes promulgated in this rule clarify existing regulatory requirements, align the regs with current industry practice, and ensure compliance with the FAA Reauthorization Acts of 2018 and 2024 and the James M. Hoff NDAA for fiscal year 23. After these messages, Drone Racing League arrives in Miami. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Drone Racing League arrives in Miami. The Drone Racing League is the premier professional drone racing circuit and it's coming to Miami, Florida with the DRL U.S. Air Force Miami Invitational on Saturday, February 1st, 2025 at Lone Depot Park. This event is a must for all adrenaline junkies. It features pulse-pounding action at breakneck speed as the world's best pilots fly their custom-built fastest drones at eye-popping speeds through complex, futuristic 3D race courses designed to push the limits of drone racing. There are exciting obstacles, high-speed straightaways, and incredible hairpin turns. The Gs you would pull in those turns if they were life-size aircraft is unimaginable. The event will feature the 12 best first-person view drone pilots in the world, including several world champions competing head-to-head. -head. Be a witness of state-of-the-art racing drones flying impossibly fast while being expertly maneuvered with crazy good precision. The event is a blend of virtual and physical elements that delivers an unmatched viewing experience for fans and enthusiasts. All ages are welcome to the spectacle that's captivated millions of fans on NBC, YouTube, TikTok, and other streaming platforms. It's an evening full of bleeding-edge tech, immersive experiences, head-spinning action, and spectacular race courses. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.